into this battle, Scali versus Ben Kisaki. Both trainers are getting ready here. Game number one, we have the Skarmory into the Shadow Swampert. This is a classic. <laughs> this is an absolute classic from way back in the day. And the Shadow Swampert has kind of a good time here, just resisting those steel wings. It is outpacing heavily. However, it will have to give up shields because you can't take a sky attack. Ooh. Oh, the catch on the Hydro Cannon. This is resisted. What a wonderful catch here by Scully. Here's the thing, though. There's Altaria, but I don't f I'm not sure if this is exactly what he wants to do. Here's the thing, Leo. He has the Bastard on in the back, and since this is not a Hydro Pump, Azumarill, you kind of bait out a target for Bastion. That is true. However, the bubbles do add up at some point, and you you have to play with three Pokemon. You will have to use a target for Bastiodon at times, and you only have the Shadow Swampert, so you're kind of fine if it is in the back when Bastiodon is sitting in the back. Benikisaki going a little bit over 100 energy, but making sure that he is capped out on it. Going for the Ice Beam to knock out this Altaria. What do you bring in here? If you go into the Bastiodon, everything is resisted, and I think Showing your hand here, that also means that Benikisaki now knows where to align that Swampert. I'm not sure if I agree with this play. Yep, that is true. However, you want to get use out of the Shadow Bastion, even though I think you might be right, the Skarmory could have baited out the Swampert in the end game. Yeah, bubbles are adding up here though. They're super effective, but Bastion obviously so bulky. It's a wall, right? I cannot imagine that going to play rough on the wall is gonna do a lot of damage here. I mean, it is resisted after all, but yeah, Bastidon still hangs on. It's actually Ooh. getting pretty low here. And now going for the combo play here, Hydro Cannon, I think will knock out Bastidon from this point. Scully going to shield it. Yes, he is preserving the Basti. I was gonna say, yes, this, oh, we're going to actually throw a Stone Edge back, and I like that play because even though this is resisted, it might put the Shadow Swampert into the farm down range for the Skarmory. Now, the Skarmory has a lot of energy. The Shadow Swampert doesn't have to give up the second shield as well if it should be preserved. Benikizaki just gave up the alignment there. Interesting. Gosler isn't exactly helpless against these two steel type though. And Swampert, I think, will get to. Oh, it doesn't get to two Hydro Cannon though. So let's see if Scali shields this. Then Benikisaki is our terrible spot because Gosler has to get through the full Skarmory. Yeah. And he does shield up this Hydro Cannon. That's so unfortunate. Maybe the Azumar can put in some work as well. Skytax coming through. I think this is going to knock out the Swampert. Yep, I like that he's immediately throwing there. Every single bit of HP on the Skarmory is going to matter here. And also, the high energy. Decent HP, Bastiodon in the back is going to be really, really strong for Scully here. I don't think the Bastiodon is the first concern here for Benikisaki. True. This Guzzlord has no play against either of them. It had the most play into Altaria, and even that matchup is so-so. The first Dark-type Charsex coming in, but it won't threaten the Skarmy just yet. I think you need to make a catch here, Leo. I think what Scully is going to... Oh, he's oh. immediately going for it. Going for the... Was that a Sky Attack? Or was I think that was bird? the Brave Bird, and it's going to do so yeah. much damage. Wow! Guzzlord barely hangs on, going into the, the Bastidon, swapping back into the Azumarill, taking the Stone Edge here. It will knock out the so Azumarill. Good. Yeah, Azumarill couldn't have done as much either anyway, right? Because they have resisted charge attacks. Throws the Stone Edge immediately as well to not take any kind of bubble damage anymore. Benikizaki, he could have just let the Azumarill go. He was made. And the Skarmory, so it needs to target other Pokemon. Here we go. We have the Bastiodon into the Azumarill. Benikisaki has two answers, though. I think he's going to bait oh. out that Altaria just right away. In comes yeah. the Altaria into the Annihilate. Annihilate has some player. This can get actually pretty nasty if you land the Shadow Ball. Yeah, that is a very, very good point because Scully... Oh, can he flip the switch here or can he force a shield advantage? That is going to be the big question because Scully can just try to farm down here. Is he going to play the one wow. shield? Oh, very, very good energy management on Scully's side. Throws the sky attack in case Benny Kizaki decides to no shield this. He gets the maximum amount of energy. There is a shield being put up, a Night Slash being thrown. Can the Annihilate counter down the Altaria from this range if a shield is put up? Or is this maybe a boost con? Oh, shielding up the Night Slash here. I'm not sure how to feel about that one. No boost, they can't get to another Night Slash. We'll get very close here. I think it goes down. Yes, it goes down with the Night Slash. And now you have to bubble down with that Azumarill. Here's the thing, though, that energy goes nowhere on the Bastiodon. Yep, that is true. You will have to immediately swap back into the Shadow Swampert as soon as this matchup is over. You're going to take some damage from the Moonblast, some nasty chip, and Azumarill might have to be a catch-win condition later on in the game because this Shadow Swampert will have to 1v2 here.
Yeah, I would have loved to see a much shot down here yeah, with same. that Swampert. I believe back in the day, Swampert used to win the one shot scenario against the Skarmory. Story and Ice Beam then going into the Swampert, now answered by the Skarmory. Can you win the one shot scenario? I'm not sure. It's going to get pretty close because you need, I believe, 14 much shot for uh, three Hydro Cannon, right? That you need to knock out the, the Skarmory. But, and you need 50 Steel Wing to knock out, uh, to get to Sky Tech here. So I think that Benny Kisaki is actually in a pretty good spot here. Yep, this would have been absolutely phenomenal to... He could have kind of saved this victory by swapping in the Shadow Swampert and farming down the Altaria. That did not happen, so it's going to be really, really close. He's giving his opponent one turn every time, or two turn every time he throws a charge deck. So this might be close. Is this going to come down to a charge deck priority? It kind of needs to. You need to pr manage your energy perfectly. Otherwise, the Bastardon will outpace you to a charge deck. Let's see. Ed, can he get the charge back priority? Yes! What a great play by Ben Kisaki. Going for the charge deck priority with the Swampert. Why are we back in 2022? Swampert versus Scarry. Swampert takes it out. Can Bastodon get to a Stone Edge? And no, getting to the Hydro Cannon here. This will put the Bastodon so low that even the Azumarill can put up a fight. Yep, is it going to put it so low? The Hydro Cannon deals a de decent amount of damage. The Azumarill is not completely helpless in that matchup. Let's see how much damage. I mean, the thing is, you're saving that Shadow Swampert from the Stone Edge, and that is really, really good. You're sponging up the damage here. Can Scully actually go for a Stone Edge and farm down? Oh, this does not deal a lot of damage. The bubbles are adding up so much. I think that Benny Kizaki might have this. Yeah, uh, he went a little bit over 100 energy again there. I don't think it matters a lot, though. The Super Effective Bubble is going to add up, and it's smart that he went into the Azumarill, because here's the thing. Bastion cannot stack up two, uh, two uh, attacks here. Go for another player up, and he is going to rough up this Bastion with the little bunny. Azumarill ties up the score here for Benny Kisaki. It is now 1-1. One, one. All of those you can beat if you land power rips. And now we're going to go into the next game. Annihilate leading into the Skarmory. Bastiodon is still in the back, avoiding the Annihilate once again. And now we're going to see, the, because the Annihilate is still a good matchup against the Skarmory. Leo, this is a classic. This is what I call a team of Scali, where you win the switch advantage, you win the game. Yeah. Altaria, Bastion on the back is just unbreakable. It looks like Scali does want to go for that switch advantage here. Benki Saki just staying in for a little bit. He went pretty weak to the Feraligator. He might try to pay it out at some point. Um, we know there's no Feraligator, but Benki Saki doesn't know yet. Let's see what he's going to do here. We're going to see a Sky Attack shielded here. Scully already almost has another one loaded. Farms up one more, throws here. Is Benikizaki going to invest yes. a second shield here? Yes, and I think this is going to be a very close range as to where two Night Slash can knock out. Here's the thing, Leo, switch advantage is so important. Scully's going to lose switch advantage because the Annihilate outpaces. And the Night Slash is not going to knock out just yet, I think, here. And Scully does call it. He lets it go. I think two counters will knock out this Annihilate. It will even get to a Shadow Ball on the next Pokemon coming in. I don't think that's Bastiodon. Nope, it definitely is not best yet, although the energy would have been very, very good. We're going to no shield that Shadow Ball, and I really like that because Azumarill has been brought every single game. It is the prime answer to this Altaria, and Azumarill is going to knock it out either way, so why would you use a shield here? Keep the shield for Bastion, but Scully knows the Shadow Swampert has been everywhere. At this point, I think Scully's just hoping it's not going to be Swampert in the back. Perhaps trying to catch a charge attack soon on the Bastardon. He tries to, and here comes the Swampert. Ben Kisaki is smiling, and he knows what time it is. It's Swampert time, baby! Yes, you got to keep a little mud under your pillow for the mud boy because it is going to come to town and put this Bastiodon back into its Pokeball. Going to throw the Hydro Cannon and another Hydro Cannon is almost start. Now we're going to see, for scientific purposes, how much a Stone Edge does. Let's take a look. I think it puts Swampert just barely into the yellow. Yeah, okay. yeah, perfect, perfect good call. call. Yeah, good, yeah, yeah, good call. It's almost like I played Worlds uh, soon. Good call, Martin. <laughs> the Hydro Cannon <laughs> is doubled up right here, and you know it's not going to be shielded. You don't really care if the energy goes to waste on the Altaria later on because your Azumarill is so healthy. You just ah. throw immediately here. He's not earthquaking. <laughs> that would that would have been a Tomahawk play, but the Shadow Swampert <laughs> is going to run through this Altaria. This actually still deals a sizable chunk of damage. I doubt that there is going to be a big farm down, but this is... Oh, we get to another Hydro Cannon here. Shadow Swampert is confirmed in Altaria counter. Wow, Benikisaki is moving on to day two. Shadow Swampert is not that outdated. It just got to day two. Yep, absolutely. Benny Kizaki coming in for the big W here, playing out the Annihilate matchup 